I always thought of Gdańsk as a very beautiful city with, uh, you know, the sea and forests and, uh, and lakes and, uh, and clean air. But my favorite place uh, in Gdańsk is uh, the zoo. Probably uh, it's because I have three small children uh, who absolutely adore animals and, uh, and the zoo and we live very close. So yeah, so we visit, uh, visit the zoo very often. After high school I left uh, Poland and went to, uh, to Ireland where I spent over 11 years and I studied uh, in Ireland. During my last year um, of my PhD uh, I went to a conference in Milan uh, in Italy and um, I found a leaflet um, advertising another meeting of the Polish Neuroscience Society and the, the head of the, uh, of the Polish Neuroscience uh, Society was Professor Szutowicz and yes, yeah, so uh, I wrote uh, a grant proposal with him and came to Gdańsk. Well, I'm a neuroscientist, I have a master's degree in neuroscience from Trinity College. Uh, then I did my uh, molecular neuropharmacology PhD also in Trinity and a postdoc. During my PhD, I investigated a receptor called, DB, called DBI2. Um, it turns out that this receptor is, in, uh, is expressed in the cells of the central nervous system and it plays a uh, wide range of functions. Uh, so after I met Professor Szutowicz, uh, I already came uh, to him with, uh, with an idea for a project. Uh, which, um, which was actually a continuation of my PhD project. Um, but uh, this time I decided to focus on, uh, on oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes are um, cells, glial cells, that form myelin sheets, uh, so like a lipid layer around, uh, around axons, neuronal axons. Uh, and these uh, lipid layers, uh, myelin sheets, uh, are destroyed in uh, multiple sclerosis. So while we have um, almost 30 therapies that um, that modulate the immune system and multiple sclerosis and they are very successful. Um, there is no therapy um, that actually um, helps to uh, protect uh, the damage uh, in the central nervous system uh, that is happening uh, during, uh, during MS and multiple sclerosis. Um, and, uh, and there is no uh, therapy that would uh, help to repair uh, the, immune, the, the central nervous system, so the, those, so the cells. And, um, and the project I'm currently working on is about uh, therapy uh, for actually rebuilding the myelin sheets around, uh, uh, around axons, neuronal axons. So uh, I think it's, it's unique in a way that there is no such therapy. So if we're successful, it's, uh, it would be really be amazing if it worked. This is like a revolution in multiple sclerosis. So we have so many different uh, potential therapeutic methods, but they just inhibit the disease. I've been thinking about the idea to find mechanisms for remyelination, which is a natural process, very individual process. So there are some patients who remyelinate and some patients who are bad remyelinators. Let's call it like this. So I've been thinking about the idea to find this mechanism, this natural mechanism, and to try to stimulate this mechanism by different pharmaceutics, by different methods, for a long time, actually. From the first time we met with Ola, I knew that she would be a great scientist. In our discussion, when we met for the first time, it turned out that Ola has already been, as I mentioned, working on one of the mechanisms, which means one of the receptors, for a long time before, uh, even when she was working abroad in Dublin, uh, in one of the mechanisms that is very closely related to my interest. But as I mentioned, in completely different ideas, aims and space. So we have to just define the aims and to define the individual aims. Individual in the sense of the personality of the mentor, personality of a PhD student or a postdoc or whoever he or she is, uh, to define the aims, as I mentioned, and then to adjust everything towards the aim. Not just the school, not just the courses, not just the standard courses for everybody, like in, at the university or like in the high school, that's not about this level. Mentoring is very, very, very important. And I think that's absolutely crucial. Just give up any standard courses and just adjust only these courses that are only or mainly these courses that are needed to achieve the aims, the scientific aims in the project. For that project we're, part we're collaborating with uh, Gdańsk University of Technology um, with uh, organic chemists who, um, who synthesize um, 
the active, the ligand for the receptor, for EPA receptor. Medical University of Gdańsk is, um, uh, is a great place to do research. Um, I think it's um, the fact that it's so close to, to the hospital, to the clinics, uh, and which, which are full of uh, doctors who are also passionate about science, makes it, uh, um, makes it really unique. And definitely, I would definitely uh, recommend it to anyone thinking about coming to Poland. I actually have a PhD student who is from France. Um, she came here to do her PhD uh, because she liked the project. So uh, yeah, and uh, I think she likes it. Well, I hope so at least. <laughs>